People have asked me lately why I've been railing against the right so hard and why I rail against what I perceive as a right-wing influence on those that call themselves uh, liberals, those that consider themselves on the left. And this is because of, like, the very last video that I made. You know, think about this for a moment. Think about the fact that people are more scared right now of being considered an SJW than a racist. Okay, it, this has been building up for the past couple years. In 2015, I was willing to be a lot more experimental with my beliefs. I was willing to consider more things. I mean, I'm being honest right here. I've become a little more closed because I've seen what's been happening. In 2015 is when a lot of this, this shit really started. It's when most of the reasonable people on the left just sort of dropped off the platform. That's when that started. This year, it went into overdrive. And the only people that seem to be left who are on the left are the ones who are unreasonable. They'll either have, like I said in the other video, they'll either have a really thin skin and will report people for disagreeing with them. Or they have such a thick skin that they're an impenetrable wall. And, and, and people just don't like that very much. Right? That seems to be what's left when it comes to those that I would consider on the left. Now people are saying, well, you know, you're, you're saying that all these people are, are, aren't really on the left. Well, there's so much right infiltration into these mindsets from the right. I, I, I sometimes want, how can you call yourself on the left when you're promoting some of this shit? Blows my mind. Two years ago, you would have been speaking against the shit. And now, and now it, you're just kind of, well, you know. Now we're for this, but we still want to call ourselves on the left. And I'm like, what are the things that are left that are from the left? You know, I mean, Republicans have, in time, I mean, okay, Republicans tend to be, you know, right-wingers tend to be neophobes. Left-wingers tend to be neophiles. Okay? The right eventually uh, latches on to things that in the past were originally radical ideas that were from, coming from the left. The right eventually accepts those things and brings them into their platform. Okay, the way things are right now, um, there are many on the right who support things that just five years ago they didn't. They support things that would normally be considered left-wing positions. You know, people who are Republicans will sometimes support things that just five years ago they wouldn't have. Okay, we've had a lot of changes. A lot of the people who are, um, who are still calling themselves on the left are almost indistinguishable from those on the right who are actually kind of open-minded. I mean, it's just fucking indistinguishable. You know, you can be a right-winger, you can be a Republican and be pro-choice. You can be a Republican and uh, be pro-gay marriage. The areas that, that it doesn't work out so much with is the, the idea of how someone feels about uh, the role of government. You know, how do you take care of, of social issues? The right tends to want to take care of social issues through, um, like, economic stuff. Set up the law so um, 
in a more kind of libertarian fashion and everything will just fall into place socially. You know, it'll all just get better that way. Those on the left tend to go more towards the... Uh, uh, a hint more of socialism. I mean, it's been that way for years. A hint more towards socialism. A hint more towards, you know, we can see the problems that these groups are having. Let's try to help these groups out. And, and those that have the attitude of, well, that's not the government's job, generally, that's a right-wing position. That's such a, a, a solid on the right um, position that if you have that position, it seems very odd for you to call yourself on the left. Because again, like I said, there are Republicans who support things that even just five years ago they didn't. Okay, times are changing. And so it's, it's like, let's, you know, when I'm saying this stuff about people who are who claim they're on the left but don't seem to represent it, I'm asking you to evaluate your beliefs. Okay, if you are on the right, fine, you're on the right. But at least evaluate your beliefs enough so you know that your position is consistent with what you say you are. You know? Bullying and harassment affects people a lot more than you'd like to than people would like to admit. This stuff really, really, really affects people. You can say, well, it shouldn't all you want, but people, as I've said before, you know, it's like you're using this, uh, what I like to call the uh, society doesn't have to fallacy. Oh, well, people don't have to be that way. Well, People are what they are. Humans are humans, and, and, and human psychology works like human psychology works. There, no, no amount of wishful thinking is going to change that. Now, this can be said for the left as well. This can be said for the left as well. I mean, the le it's just like people are saying, well, you're not complaining about the left enough. Maybe I'm not, but I, to me, the, 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 the internet has just sort of been taken over by the, the more right-tilting beliefs. But the left will, will tend to do this thing where um, if you don't believe this way, then you're a bigot or you're a racist or you're a sexist or you're a misogynist. You need to believe specifically this way or you're a piece of shit. Okay, the things I'm trying to say is look at the ramifications of what you're promoting and try to evaluate what your beliefs are what is your philosophy on what the gov the role of government should be you know what is this stuff so you can actually be accurate when you describe yourself okay we change people change people always change that's that's if <laughs> if there's something that's constant it's change you know, I don't think anyone is the same person they were a few years ago. Some people aren't the same people they were just a couple weeks ago. Some people aren't the same people they were an hour ago. Some people aren't the same people they were a few minutes ago. You know, we change. And I've had to accept that there are things that have changed within me that I didn't want to label about myself. I was thinking that I was... There are so many things that I, in the past, labeled myself as that I had to eventually go, wait a minute, I'm not really that way. There are ways we'd like to believe that we are, and then there's the ways that we are. That's just how it goes. That is human nature. That is reality. That's how this works. That's how, that's how this has always worked. I'm just trying to point this stuff out. Okay, I see a huge res I see a huge surge of the right. I see a huge resurgence of the right. Now maybe it is that people are tired of left-wingers saying uh, pushing 
trying to push change to the point where it's demonizing everyone. I'll agree, I'll agree that that has been happening. I've spoken against it to a certain degree, but now there's there's hardly anyone left to stand up for the left. Okay, I consider myself very much on the left. I want and maybe I'm not fully on the left. Maybe I have some right-wing things about about me. But I'm not seeing a whole a whole set of things about the left being very defended. And when people try to defend it, they're called an SJW, regressive cuck, and about a dozen other names. And as I've said before, people are, are more scared of being called that than they are a racist. I mean, on the internet, what are the negative ramifications now of being called a racist? Well, you're called a racist and then that's it. What are the ramifications of it? What are the ramifications on the internet of being called a racist or a sexist or a misogynist? Or uh, What are the ramifications of it? What if someone just says, well, yeah, I'm a racist. Yeah, I'm a sexist. Yeah, I'm a... There'll be some, some SJ... There'll be some people that are on the extreme side of things making videos. I'll say the SJWs will make some videos. And then what? Are they bombarded with, with thousands of comments? No, they're not. In fact, you'll, there'll be more comments in support than, than are against. That's the way this platform has changed. You know, again, I used to experiment a lot more with my mindset. And, you know, I regret that I supported certain things in the past. Because if I really, really dug deep down into my mindset... I wouldn't have supported those things. There's some truth to the statement that when, when people say that the left um, is more emotional and the right is more cold and uh, tries to deal with cold facts more. The left tries to um, tries to pull at your heartstrings to try to get people to support groups of people, um, so things life will be better for those groups of people. That is a trait of the left. Um, the left does tend to make more emotional arguments. I won't. I won't deny that now the right when they are when they're controlled more by uh, religion the religious right will even will be even more emotional but when it comes to the internet right wing it's not very emotional because the internet right wing is less religious. The internet right wing. There are things that, that can be brought up about race. There are things that can be brought up about gender and sex. That, you know, if you bring up the cold hard statistics... Uh, are pretty bleak. The thing is, if you go back in time enough, um, statistics could be said, let's say, about black people um, shortly after slavery had been ended, and you find om almost identical statements said then as now towards black people. And statistics will be brought up. To me, there needs to be a bit of a balance between emotions and that, that cold, calculated side of us. There needs to be some sort of balance. And right now, we are... The, internet culture is completely out of balance there. Any attempts to, 
to give emotional arguments about things is my feels, my feels, boo-hoo my feels. And attempts to be more cold and calculated are like, man, you just don't seem to care about anyone. When it comes to people being triggered, this happens on both sides. Absolutely happens on both sides. Both sides have their triggering uh, phrases, statements, concepts. Both sides have this. And I don't think the left has stated enough towards the right, hey, you're being triggered by this. You're talking about us being triggered, but you get triggered by a lot of shit too. But none of that can be mentioned anymore. None of this shit can barely be talked about. Otherwise, you're labeled a regressive SJW cuck and a bunch of other, uh, a bunch of other names. And it's funny, it's like, it's strange, the idea that it is an insult, but it is, to be considered someone that wants social justice. That's a strange thing, that's weird. It makes sense that a uh, being called a racist is, is considered a bad thing. That makes sense. But the way that it's panned out here on the internet anymore, there's much worse ramifications, especially on platforms like YouTube, much worse ramifications for being considered an SJW than being called a racist. And I think that's, I think that's very concerning. I think that should concern everyone. But, you know, I can think that something should concern people all I want, and people are just going to be concerned with what they're concerned about. No matter what, I'm just, I'm just someone complaining on the internet. That's all I am. I'm just some guy complaining on the internet. That's it. That's all I am when it comes to, you know, my YouTube presence. Just like most people, it's just people complaining on the internet. Hopefully, though, when I do complain about stuff, I can maybe get people to think about things. Now, maybe lately I haven't been being as balanced as I could be. And that's because I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm terrified of our future. And the way that I've seen things going, it's like, what chance does the left have of, of saying anything? I mean, when we were told that, that to just simply protest, and I'm not talking about riots, I'm just talking about protests. If we just simply protest Trump's victory, we're being whiny, crybaby, uh, 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 sore losers. And it doesn't matter if we say, well, we're worried about these issues. Nope, nope, we're just SJW crybaby losers. Sore losers. It's, it's frustrating. And yet for eight years, Obama got completely bombarded with, with all these, these bullshit ac accusations. People being worried because, well, he has a lot of uh, people uh, from uh, the RIAA. I didn't he have some sort of a lawyer from the RIAA as, as, as one of the, uh, someone on his cabinet. It, it, he's, you know, Obama has hired a number of people that were, that were kind of questionable. But what ways would those people negatively affect the public? When it comes to Trump, there's there's there is considerable worry about some of the people he may put on his cabinet. 
particularly if you judge him by who he's associated with over this past year during his campaign. Now it's understand and now maybe Trump uh just did that to get uh to try to cater to more of the religious right just so he'd get votes. And if so, well it worked. You know, I know people are saying, well Trump has been a democrat in the past. Yeah, but uh the route that it looks like he's going is is I mean, look at even just look at the way that he handles tweets. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. Um you know, one of the main concerns I have with with Trump is that he's reckless. Completely reckless. You know, and we're going to be giving him the power to 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 do a lot of shit to, to we're going to give him the power of starting a war and yet he's reckless he could he could shove forth some really horrible decisions in the middle east you know we talk about hillary potentially starting a war with russia well the kind of war that 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 trump could start in the middle east you know could end up being becoming nuclear as well um so it just it's frustrating right now you know and and one of the things that's the scariest about this is i've talked about how when bush was president um after 911 there was anyone saying anything negative about Bush was called un-American. Um, who were those? Who was? The, who were those female country singers, uh, country artists? And they dared to say something negative about Bush, and they were just like, basically kicked out of the country music uh, scene. Um, you know, we have that now with Trump. And he isn't even president yet. And he hasn't just fought, he hasn't just experienced the country being attacked. And yet, we're already at that point now with Trump. You don't find that concerning at all? Cult of personality? It's all about cult of personality. You don't find that concerning. And you don't find it concerning like I said in, in earlier in this video and my previous video, you don't find it concerning that people are more scared of being called a social justice warrior than they are being called a racist. You know, this is why I have been railing against the right so much. And this is why I'm railing against those who call themselves on the left who seem to have been infiltrated by the right. Again, we change, and we sometimes aren't aware of how we've changed.